Okay, so the purpose of this video, it's really quick just to show you how to add a kick plate to your railing. And essentially all it is is a uh, profile family that is added as a rail. So what we'll do here is first, here's your rail. Let's say we want to add a kick plate to it. I'll go to File, New, Family. And let's find a profile family here. Actually be profile rail. So you'd use that Revit family template. Go ahead and draw your template here and bear with me while I kind of think this through whether it would be down like this or going the other direction. So I may guess wrong here. Doing this on the fly. Uh, and let's say it's a quarter inch kick plate. And I don't know, maybe four inches or six inches. We'll pick one of the two. Let's go with uh, six inches. Okay, so there's my family. I'm going to save it. And we're going to call this kick plate. Dot RFA. Now there's the profile. Okay, it's a, and then we'll load it into the project. Okay, let's go to the elevation of the railing, edit its type properties, and in the rail structure, we'll insert that profile. Basically, we'll call it kick plate, as you may have other non-continuous rails to add, and the profile will be our kick plate profile. And the material, we'll just do uh, stainless steel here. Okay, click Apply, click OK. Click OK here, and we I went the wrong direction. But you can fix it here in the type properties by basically giving it an offset of 6 inches if you wanted to. That would be one way of handling it. Or that, actually, let me let me start over here. The offset's the wrong value to, uh, to change. That's the offset relative to the center of it. It'd be 6 inches height. And there you go, it's in the right place. Or maybe even better yet, fix it here in the family, right? Move this up. Load it in the project. Of course, this is going to uh, mess with it here, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and fix it real quick, rail structure. And depending, of course, on which side you have it here, put it back at zero. Click OK, and there's my kick plate. Okay, so hopefully that explains uh, how you'd add a kick plate for a for the entire span of the railing now let's say that you just wanted to add it to a portion uh, there's n there are no grips here to kind of modify it back on an instance per instance basis so in that scenario what you're probably best doing is creating your own family which would be very similar to what we did here where you'd create maybe a profile and then uh, you'd create a line-based family, something like that, where you'd insert it. You could even do an in-place family. I'm hesitant to recommend anybody doing in-place families when they can do it with a, with a regular family, but, uh, uh, but you could do it in-place as well. There's a lot of downsides for in-place families when they're, when they're placed in the project. But hopefully that gives you a general idea. Let me know if you have any follow-up questions.